how a photocopier works. Well, the first step is once you put your image down on the glass, you press the button, a scan, you know, basically a, a light element is going to run across the photo, or it's going to run across your image, photo, whatever it is, text, you know, paper. Um, and what that does, and when it do, while it's doing that, it's basically going to collect the results of that onto a special drum. If the light hits white paper, it's going to reflect back. If the, white hit, if the light hits something else that's not basically white paper or a reflective surface, although I don't know why you would be trying to photocopy a mirror, um, it's going to basically record that as, you know, it's going to do an exact copy. Instead of doing a photo, like a photographic negative, it produces a positive copy. So it's, it's a direct duplicate. It doesn't do like photography where it goes, photo, for what goes positive to negative, then back to positive again. Once this image is collected onto the drum, the drum passes over toner particles. The particles are charged in such a way that they will stick to the areas that did not reflect light when they passed over the original image. Once the toner has adhered itself to the charged non-white areas on the drum, paper is charged to the opposite polarity and run in contact with the drum. So, in other, so basically the toner will, trans, will transmit itself from the positive image that's on the drum directly to the paper. Once the toner is sticking to the charged, is, has adhered itself to the charged parts of the original image on the drum, paper is charged to the opposite polarity and passed over the drum. As it's passed over, the toner particles actually will kind of jump from the, from the drum to the paper. The paper is then partially discharged so that it will separate from the drum. Once it's separated from the drum, the toner is permanently affixed to the paper by one of two processes. Fusing, which involves a special array of heated wires, is a little bit less common, tends to be more expensive, but it's easier to maintain, you get a slightly higher quality. Or by fixing, which is a little bit more common. It uses a combination of heat and pressure from rollers to affix the toner to the paper permanently. Once the copy is finished and been sent to the tray, the toner will be swept off of the drum and into a special hopper where it will either be discarded or reused depending on the model of the copier.